What's going on guys, AD here, and I've got some exclusive video content for you today for Motorsport Manager Mobile 2, which launches on July 13th on the App Store. That's right, the long-awaited sequel to the highest-rated motorsport game on the App Store, Motorsport Manager Mobile 2, launches on July 13th. It's compatible with the iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch, and uh, the Android release is going to follow in early August. Now I've got some exclusive video content to show you guys because Christian West sent me an email on Friday and uh, it literally caught me off guard because I was eating a bowl of cereal when this email came in and dropped it all over the floor because I just couldn't literally believe it that he sent me an email directly um, with the press kit to the game and talking more about it and he went to his developers that were playtesting the game and actually had them record 30 minutes of footage uh, of the game so this is exclusive for you guys, nobody else has this video content. And uh, they went in and created a team that we're using Dark Side Racing for my F1 series in Motorsport Manager that we're doing now. So they actually watched my content, which I thought was really cool. But um, I've got some exclusive stuff, so you're gonna see all of this firsthand. And I'm gonna cover some things that are new about the Motorsport Manager Mobile 2 game versus the previous version. The first thing you'll notice about Motorsport Manager Mobile 2 is that it looks similar to Motorsport Manager. So they've taken a lot of the visual assets, a lot of the graphics, and kind of condensed it down into the mobile version, which I think is really cool because it kind of makes this seamless uh, transition between the PC version and the mobile version. Now there's a lot of new things with this game. and. Uh, you make all of the big decisions, so you can hire and fire your own drivers, you can offer them contracts, and those drivers can then either accept your contracts or not accept them and go with another team. So you can put together uh, a really good team of drivers, talented engineers, you can then design new parts and invest in technology to hone your car to uh, absolute perfection. Uh, with the ultimate ambition of winning the World Motorsport Championship. Now, there is three series, the European Racing Series, the Asia Pacific Cup, and the World Motorsport Championships, similar to Motorsport Manager on the PC version. So they've kind of taken that and uh, added it into the mobile version as well. So you have uh, three different series and championships to uh, compete in. The game has 16 tracks and locations, and they're going to have a lot of tracks that are similar to the PC version, like Cape Town, Beijing, Sydney, and so forth. So you're going to see all parts of the world as your team travels to these different uh, races and competes in them. The really cool thing is that drivers now age, improve, and sign on different teams, and they even retire. And then uh, younger drivers come in and take their place. So. Uh, the teams can rise over time and from season to season different drivers can sign on with different teams so it means that really no careers are ever going to be the same because you're never going to get the same drivers all the time because they might sign on with other teams but you might be able to offer them something to get onto your team so there's a lot of negotiation that happens in this uh, kind of like the PC version. Your team of top engineers can design individual car parts from scratch and there's a fast moving part marketplace where your cars are in a constant state of progress. Fuel efficiency and tire wear are new stats that you have to manage while you're out there in the race. Another really cool feature is the headquarters. That's right, you can build new buildings that will increase different stats and uh, help your drivers along and help you on the fin financial side as well as the part development side. So there's eight different upgrades for the financial part development and drivers that will enhance your team as you progress to the World Motorsport Championship. Not only do you have to manage your race team, you actually have to manage your funds. Money is gonna play a very important part in the mobile version because you have to deal with contracts. You have to remember that you have contracts for drivers. Each driver gets paid a certain amount. And if you offer too much money, you might not have enough money to build a new headquarters building. So you really have to figure out if the trade-off is worth it. Do you, do you want to spend money building a new building that will really enhance your driver's stats? Or do you want to build parts for your car so that next t season you can go in strong? You've got to weigh the pros and cons and manage your money. It's going to be really crucial. But along with managing your money, you'll also have sponsorships that you can then accept uh, before you enter a race. And some of these sponsorships have a bonus target position of hitting 14th or above, maybe 9th or above. 
and uh, the better the target, the more money you make from the race. Um, you have a qualifying bonus and a race bonus, which is kind of similar to the PC version. Weather is going to play an important part on this version, just like the PC version. So you might have to pit in for intermediate tires. You might have to pit in for wet tires, depending on how hard it rains. You can actually see the weather forecast and you can see a little bit in advance. And then if you, and there's probably some upgrades to your headquarters that you can then see further ahead, um, you know, a couple of minutes ahead. Uh, so the, the more you can see ahead, the more you can plan ahead and pit in for the right tires and uh, be on those tires at the right moment. So that's gonna be an important part as well. During the race, you also have more options this time. You can change your driving style from conservative, neutral, to attack. And then you also can change your engine mode from low, neutral, and overtake. Uh, low engine makes the fuel burn low. Fuel burn at, at neutral is medium. And then fuel burn, if you're overtaking, the fuel burn is very high. So you have to manage uh, your modes a lot more. And then you also have to manage your fuel. So. There's a really cool screen that shows you your different driving styles and it also shows you how much fuel you have and how much tire wear is on your tires. And the other important thing that's new about this version is car condition. So as you overtake your car and you push your car harder and harder, the car condition overall is going to wear and you can actually see a screen that shows you different parts of your car and how well those parts are doing. But it looks like you can just overall repair the entire car. I'm not sure if you can repair specific parts themselves um, based on the screen, but you can. You have an option to fix or don't fix your car, which can then take a certain amount of time. So you have to keep that in mind if you're going to stop and pit and repair your car, depending on how hard you push it. Being a motorsport manager means that you might have to deal with dilemmas. That means that certain things can happen in between races, in between the seasons, uh, where you have to pay a certain amount of money to uh, fix whatever went wrong. So maybe uh, a car part broke off of your car uh, five days before the race and you have to pay a certain amount of money to get it fixed. Or uh, the mafia could kidnap one of your drivers and uh, if you don't pay them money, then they might introduce her to the crowbar. So anything can happen. Some funny things in there as well, but it kind of keeps it uh, fresh and keeps uh, the game moving in a, in a pace. So you can never really uh, feel like you're you know, you, you just don't know what's going to happen. Anything can happen and keep you on your toes. And I really like that about the game. Overall, I think this game is going to be a blast uh, to play on your mobile devices. It's, it's going to be a lot of fun and it is really well designed. I mean, the graphics are great. The menus are great. The interface is fantastic. I mean, you clearly see everything. All the information that you need to see is very visible. So you don't really wonder like what things do they tell you in a perfect way sometimes even better than the pc version i think uh, especially designing parts they actually tell you how much your engineers are benefiting the build of that part so there's a lot of really useful information in here there's a lot more depth into this game and as the manager of your own f1 team you have to make all the big decisions you know you have to hire the drivers fire them put together a team of talented engineers, design the new parts, invest in technology, and hone your car to absolute perfection to win the World Motorsport Championships. So I hope you guys are looking forward to this game. You'll be able to get it on the App Store on July 13th for $3.99, which I think is a really great price. I hope you all are looking forward to creating the Ultimate Race Team. As always, if you guys want to see more content from me, more Motorsport Manager in general, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.